guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna show you guys an important transformation that you can do in power query right so it's called pivot and unpivot so uh, what I mean by that so you have a view like what I'm showing on the screen right you have a company and you have a bunch of different months and then their uh, you know corresponding sales uh, let's say uh, like you know if you think about it there is a company is one attribute right company is basically one attribute that you see here and then there is uh, all these could be you know rolled up into one attribute called month right basically the month attributes values are all like you know stripped off and you know uh, placed into different columns right and then their sales are all corresponding to here let's say I don't want this view I wanted just a view something like what I see below right I have my I want my company I want my month in which I'll have all these columns broken down as rows right I'm changing my columns as rows here and then renaming the column as month right and then all these uh, sales values whatever I had for this intersection company and this month specific month that will all be you know coming here accordingly right and all these companies all these months and all these sales will all be shown in this format right so uh, how do I do that Right. I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes right so that I'm gonna show you that that's number one number two that I'm gonna show is the reverse of what we just saw so let's say you have a view like this right but you wanted to get to a view that you had before something like this right I can uh, uh, you know pivot and unpivoted view how do you get that I'm, I'm gonna show you guys one by one so let's open power bi All right. Uh, the first step is to be basically bring the data inside. So go to Excel, uh, get the data from Excel from your local. Now I'm going to share the sample file in my uh, video description as well. So watch out for that if you wanted to practice. So I'm going to select this data that I'm uh, having in my Excel sheet, and I'm going to see it transform. All right. So I have all the data that I had in Excel into my power query right here right the first step that you wanted to do here is select all these columns that has been you know stripped off from your month attribute right select all these columns that you wanted to you know uh, you know uh, roll up into your into one attribute right all these smaller columns right if you all these child columns that you wanted to you know roll it up to the parent right you just need to select them and go to the transform and then there is this small uh, button here that's near the you know data type and then there is your tra replace values and then there is a small button here called unpivot columns In that you have three or uh, three options unpivot columns unpivot other columns and unpivot only selected columns you know if uh, since I have already selected only these I will just say uh, unpivot only selected columns or you can only select this and say unpivot other columns you know, it's not a big deal so I'm just gonna say unpivot only selected columns See, as soon as I hit that, just one step away, that's it. I'm getting that view that we saw right here. You see, I have company, month, and sales. I have company. I have, uh, you know, column called attribute, right? Which is basically a month. I'll rename that. And I have my sales, right? So all these different uh, for the sales for different months for this one company is brought here. For the other company, Sam's Carp is, uh, is brought here and, you know, uh, so this is uh, this is unpivoting right so uh, I have my month and I have my sales so I'm just renaming it as well so this is one way to do that so uh, let's say uh, this is one view that I wanted to show you guys right so let's say if I wanted to bring it back to the original view that we had right so the, again very simple so I just need to select these two right and then I go here say you know uh, there is unpivot columns and then there is a uh, uh, pivot column here right I just need to hit that and uh, it's gonna say uh, how do you want to call them you know it doesn't matter for me I can always change it so I'll just say like this so as soon as you do that it's all you know it all went back to the original you know format right one more thing you would have probably noted is basically uh, when I did the pivoting so I select this I go to the pivot column uh, and then when I go here there is an advanced option right so in this values there is two things you can do basically uh, you need to actually select 
the actual values column which has a continuous numerical data so in this one month is a categorical data so I'm gonna select sales sales is my continuous so in this in the sales you can do what aggregate function you wanted to apply like sum count min max you know all of this you have that option as well so that's a that's a beauty of uh, this whole uh, uh, the, the pivot right so that's what I wanted to show you guys so this is really, this comes really handy for me a lot of times when I'm uh, uh, you know working with power query I hope that uh, will help you guys as well so let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments uh, and I'll catch you guys in a different video thank you bye